And back here with the post-game show on the PLN on Stadium after the AU Eagles pull off the three-set sweep of the Loyola of Maryland Greyhounds in the conference opener here in Patriot League play. And how does it feel to not only win, but win in a, a pretty dominant fashion? Uh, not so dominant, actually. I mean, three two, sets to none. Three sets to none, and two of the sets were the last couple points, and it was not a real clean match for us. And uh, I guess the one thing you would say about a match like this is... Uh, I hope we're just going to keep moving forward and get better and better as we go here. And we're, so we started at a mark that uh, I would like to see us start at a really sharp mark and really come in. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're off and on right now, and we've got to get some kind of rhythm with uh, being able to keep the ball pretty s controlled on the court and attacking modes. First game, first match, first set, we had 11 errors. Uh, not, you know, I'm surprised we won the first set, to be quite honest, with so many errors. They give away. Uh, second set certainly uh, started to get some rhythm. But uh, yeah, we're going to need to get better here. We got better competition coming up ahead of us. And uh, it's going to be a tester for us for sure. And when you look at tonight's match, it really was one of momentums, as you just said. In the first set, you know, it was tight. You guys came out on top. In the second set, it was more of a dominant performance. And then in the third set, it was a little bit more of the momentum. But again, you guys were able to pull it out in the end. What do you sit there and attribute that to? Anything in particular? Well, I mean, uh, we started tonight the same lineup we finished the conference championship with pretty much. Uh, one change was uh, Aaron Swartz was in there uh, as the middle uh, player, and she was hurt last year. But everybody else was on that court at the end of the season. And uh, what do you attribute, uh, you know, this? I mean, look, we, we came from... Uh, success so there's an ingrained idea of our success and I think r right now it's pressuring some of the players on our team more than it is just letting them be who they are and getting to their real game here uh, we got a uh, little bit of uh, premature celebrations going on with things at times uh, when we're in the middle of a game and we're winning 12-10 and we're playing a point like we just won the whole match and there's still 15 more points to be played and so it's, uh, it's a, our ability to really stay with uh, the consistency of the, of the match here is going to be tested as the teams start to press us more and more. We know that uh, Loyola traditionally has been a competitive team but hasn't been the most competitive team in the league. So we've got we've to pick up our game here uh, as we go over to Navy on Tuesday night and then hit the road for the Holy Cross Army trip here coming up here. Army and Navy have both been solid teams in the Final Four regularly now, and so it's... Uh, we've got a work cut out for us. Finally, before I let you go, Kennedy Etheridge really stood out tonight um, amongst the players. I mean, she didn't lead in kills. That was Kazawa. Yeah. But um, Kennedy really seemed to have a good match. Yeah, well, Kennedy right now, uh, this is kind of giving her the nod to saying, come on, we're going to trust you to kind of lead this thing as our quarterback. Uh, and so she's very instrumental in terms of her control of not only her body and her play for digging and blocking, uh, or she made a block or two and a dig or two tonight here, but uh, even more so control of the tempo of the game and, and finding her hitters and working well with them and keeping a calm uh, uh, persona about her as she's, you know, building some momentum for our team. That's got to be what she continues to grasp onto if we're going to keep going forward. She did a good job of it last year, but last year's over. And we got a whole new group with uh, some hungry teams coming up against us here. So uh, looking forward to the challenge. But uh, she, as well as you know, her teammates, are all going to need to just uh, calm and uh, firm up a little bit here with their control of their ball. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll find a way to, to fight our way through this again. And that's Coach Barry Goldberg. His Eagles tonight victorious over the Loyola of Maryland Greyhounds. Next up, it's Navy.